Already selling on Etsy or planning to do so? Here are 10 tips that can help your sales on the platform skyrocket. Hey, it's Anders from Printful's marketing team. And today, we're going to look at 10 tips that can help improve your Etsy page. Stay until the end of this video to find out how optimizing your product title and description can help you reach bigger audience, how to optimize tags for Etsy products, and so much more. This video is not endorsed or in any way sponsored by Etsy. First thing to note is that Etsy is a marketplace, just like Amazon or eBay. That means that you gain a large audience by using Etsy, but you also have to compete with a lot of other sellers on the platform for that audience. Because of this, it's important that you optimize your products and make sure you stand out. These tips will help you do just that. Your product title is the first thing that's going to help you show up in Etsy search. So be sure to use keywords that people are looking for. There are three things that you can do to improve your product titles. First of all, use keywords that are really descriptive of what your product is. Don't get too creative using abstract names nobody will recognize because your product won't show up in the search results. Second, keep it short and sweet. Etsy search engine doesn't favor product titles that are too long. Use no more than five words in your title and make them count. Third, keep the more important words near the beginning of your title so they don't get lost. If you think the most important thing about your sweatshirt is that it's Christmas themed, then write it first. Tip number two, optimize product descriptions. A well-written description lets potential customers find your product as well as motivates them to go through with the purchase. The description needs to include details of the product, important keywords, and a personal touch from you. When crafting your descriptions, think about what questions customers might have about your products and try to answer them. Include any sizing information, materials used, and information about shipping. Be sure to add a size guide. People can touch your products or try them on, so they'll find it helpful. Write product descriptions with keywords in mind. Think of which words your customers are most likely to use when searching for products like yours and what information is most helpful for them. Come up with a list of keywords you want to be associated with and cleverly involve them in the text. And be creative. Don't do the same description on all products. Use different keywords for different products. This both attracts people in different audiences and it helps you identify what works and what doesn't. A personal touch will add your brand more value. So make sure your descriptions go hand in hand with your brand message. Before we move on to the next tip, make sure you like our videos and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We publish a lot of great tips about e-commerce that we're sure you'll find more than useful. Tags are good for adding keywords that don't fit in your title or description. Note that Etsy only allows 13 tags, so you need to be mindful of how you use them. Try to use longer tags to add more keywords. Tags like gifts for her or Christmas holiday sweater work well, but don't include the same words you have in your title. Otherwise, you'll only be wasting valuable tags on keywords you already have. While writing tags, you should also answer these two questions. What are the main aspects of your product that customers should know about? And what keywords are they most likely going to use to search for you? Tip number four, free shipping. It's not just a marketing incentive. Etsy actually prefers stores that offer free shipping, meaning you'll be more favored in their search results. You just need to include the shipping cost in your base product price and you're good to go. Tip number five, use appealing product photos. When people look for products on Etsy, they first notice the product photos. So it's key to use photos that stand out. Use a photo that's visually striking with your product and design and the focus. And remember that your customers aren't able to see your products in real life, so your photos should do them justice. Printful offers simple mockups that you can use for free, but it's a good idea to create your own or use sites like Placent.net to find something that suits your needs. There are certain rules for photos you can use on your page, so be sure to read Etsy's guidelines before uploading. Tip number six, write an about us page. You have to tell your story to be heard. It's the only way to build credibility and create a connection with your audience. A good about us page is what will give you an advantage over big box retailers. As a small business owner, you have a unique brand story that others don't. Etsy also gives additional value to stores that actually update their page, so be sure to take a look at your page frequently and change things up from time to time. Tip number seven, offer personalization. With a 66% increase in searches for personalizable products on Etsy last year, you increase your conversion rate by tapping into this trend. Printful offers you to add this personalization feature to your Etsy product. Just make sure the switch in the personalization section of your Etsy listing is on. And watch the personalized orders appear ready for editing in your Printful dashboard. Tip number eight, keep your store active. Etsy is interested in your store being active, giving your product more search value if you keep it updated. So don't just leave it there after creating your page, but follow the results closely and update your offers accordingly. The Etsy Stats tool is an excellent resource to see where your traffic is coming from and the top keywords you're being searched for across different platforms. 
Use this information to better understand what's working, where you need to improve, and how to do it. And remember to keep experimenting with keywords and marketing tactics. Don't be discouraged if your sales start up low. It could just be that you haven't found the ideal sales strategy. Tip number nine, optimize your product catalog. Things like product count, price, and variety can persuade a customer into the direction of buying your products or ignoring them altogether. You don't want to sell too much or too little products. There isn't a specific number to aim for. It depends on how many products you have and want to sell. Just be sure that the colors and product types you offer go together with your brand and one another. You don't have to add your products all at once. Start with what you have and build your selection as you go. Research has proven that the pricing method of adding three different price ranges to your products show the highest results. So be sure to price your products in different ranges. That way, your customers will feel like they're getting a good deal and you'll find out what price ranges they're most comfortable with. We've made an in-depth video about merchandising that goes into detail on this topic, so make sure to check it out. And while we're on the note of useful things, tip number 10, use Printful resources. There's loads of useful content on Printful's page, including original blog posts, webinars, Printful product footage videos you can use in your store, and Printful lessons, where we gather all of our educational video content. So be sure to check it out. Have you opened a shop on Etsy? Do you have any tips that others might find useful? Share your experience in the comments. Hey there, it's Wes from Printful. I hope you liked that video. Leave us a comment below on what video you'd like for us to make. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so that way you always get a notification when we have a new video.